Nina, Nick, worked at GameStop. Eight years for me. I got hired on like in 2006. I graduated. I was 17. So it's like I, I say I grew up there. Like it turned me into just this jaded, bitter person for a yeah. while. <laughs> it's like to the point you know, I created. Yes. For a while. <laughs> <laughs> I created a Twitter account just for my rants. I created a blog yeah. for a little bit. Like We I, created a show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I didn't have like a negative experience. But I, beyond customers and a few pieces of shit, you know, management. <laughs> But, the DM was the worst. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. some of the managers were. But I feel like the one at the level where it really is a problem is DM. Yeah. Because yeah. then you don't have a choice. Because oh, yeah. if you have a bad manager, you can ask the transfer. You can do all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But if you have a bad DM, like we had one really bad one. Yeah. Um, she was basically the cause of getting rid of so many good employees. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Veronica was telling me the last time I saw her um, that LDM... We cannot name. Um, <laughs> oh, I don't give a shit if we say her name. So, like, <laughs> we had this crazy ass idea that like every year she was gonna shuffle all of the managers yeah. so that they didn't get complacent. It was like, uh huh, that's stupid. Like, yeah. you, you have a community and a business that's built up within that community, and when they start doing good, you're gonna just uproot that because you don't want them to get complacent. Do you not like money? Yeah. yeah. But you know what that does? Yeah. The customer base is now not beholden to GameStop, they're beholden to the people who work there. So that's what GameStop's against is, you know, don't treat your people like people, treat them like they're cogs in a machine. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Do you remember Phyllis? Because you mentioned the zip tie, which I was going to mention earlier, was that she had a situation where they were held up and they had to, like, open the safe for robbers and they zip tied her, like, behind her back and everything. She had to get her GA to open the safe. So whenever that happened, they're like, you know, keep a lookout, you know, they, they got loose. We was that know. when we used to do night deposits, there was never money in the store at, in, like in the mornings. Yeah. yeah. And so, I mean, what are you going to get a couple hundred bucks out of the register? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Because there was one ASM, I don't even remember her name. She wasn't there that long, but she, there. this whole, this happened during the time, like the week, like had just come out. When someone lost the deposit? lost it yeah yeah oh man i remember and that so um they were like coming in and so this was during the holidays i Ooh. was it was bad and it got to the point that she was they were going to transfer her out like they couldn't figure out if she stole it or not that just the deposit went missing they were coming in you know coming in talking to everybody and like, is, is yeah. she trustworthy like does she does yeah, like do like, sketchy shit just trying to figure out how it disappeared and so yeah. it was just like you know the wees were a thing and i just big thing i remember about that is i was just like no i'm going to like i need to get something to drink or whatever so i went next door to my favorite mouth and i had just busted out crying just from the stress of everything and like they they gave me a free drink they're like yeah <laughs> but it was just like you gotta yeah. buy your muffins but uh we'll give you this <laughs> but they were gonna transfer her to more plaza from my understanding and then i was like no i'm coming back from maternity leave i don't trust her coming into my store like no i'm coming back and so but like i think she just up and quit the one that we don't know what happened so you know i was in more plaza rutherford took over but rutherford was rarely ever in the store he was always out doing whatever the fuck he was doing so real quick just to preface um before... gotta set the scene that's yeah, no, no, I was gotta set say, the scene. it's it's important to know because before rutherford came in nina and roel had been running more plaza for years yeah. and under them and the way that they had everything working and the way that they both worked together it was a well-oiled machine yeah. so when Roel left and Rutherford came in he was like well you know I'm God's gift to everything so this is gonna be easy I was floundering we kept getting distros upon distros like just a wall of distros in the back room I couldn't do anything and so I would end up going into overtime over 40 hours because I couldn't get shit done so he like decided to say I was the reason that the numbers were throwing you under the bus and throwing me under the bus so I got forced out to the Flower Bluff store to work under Joseph and oh so, Joseph was yeah, out there Joseph took that over for about a year about a year and some change yeah, yeah. Well, you guys really turned yeah. it around though yeah uh, because Flower Bluff like my first week I was there just telling him like I hate it I've done everything I've alphabetized everything I've done all the category yeah. counts and the TOH like I've done all that like I was going crazy the inventory there sucked like non-stop me and Joseph managed to get that all straightened out versus more plaza was just going down more and more and I'm just like never mind the fact that they get good numbers 
what about the inventory? Why is yeah. there inventory? Like, like Nina said, Rutherford simply wasn't in the store. Like ninety yeah. percent of the time, he was not there. Um, and he he would regularly throw the rest of us under the bus. Uh, at, and we still couldn't figure out why we had problems with our inventory going down. We found out after Andrew came in, literally within a month, that one of our guys had been stealing stuff the entire time. Yeah. Circling back to that about Rutherford, though, um, whenever he forced me out to the bluff, um, all my regulars, like, you know, I just said, hey, I'm, I'm leaving, you <laughs> know, if y'all want to follow, that. if y'all wanted to come visit me, whatever, come visit me, like, please. Yeah. Like, it's not I'm that be far. Out here. Yeah, mm-hmm. like, I'm going to be out here, I won't have anybody out here. And so, a lot of my regulars decided on their own to cancel the reserves and bring oh, them over. Yeah. No. And so, <laughs> what If you're that? not in the know, <laughs> that's cold blood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so it's like, of course, Rutherford and all his numbers and everything, like, yeah. you know, I had customers that had upwards of 10 reserves on their account. Yeah. That's called and power, Nina. Yeah. <laughs> That's called power. <laughs> and so he would not let one of them, like, cancel his, all his reserves his at once. Is. He he decided to call the store to speak to me personally because he thought he had it in his mind that I told my regulars to go and cancel. If I'm being honest... <laughs> I don't give a fuck if you did. <laughs> you, even if you did. I was completely innocent. Oh, side note. Do you remember canceling pre-orders over the phone? That's the most scummy shit. Whenever someone would come to pick up a pre-order like out there. Oh, yeah. And then so they'd be like, oh, I pre-ordered it. But I don't know why you don't oh, have it. Yeah. Oh, it's at another store. Oh, Is there a way to transfer dude. that money? And I'm yeah. like, look. And I would tell them. I'd be like, look, man. There is a way to do it. But if you did it and everyone over there is going to hate you. And they're going to hate me. And so a lot of times they would be like, no, I don't really. And then other times they'd be like, oh, I don't really care. You yeah. all need to help me out. And I'm like, yeah. okay. Customer's that... always right. So he called the store to try to speak to me. And I wasn't on lunch, but Joseph answered the phone. He goes, hey, is Nina there? Can I speak to her? You know, I there's some customers canceling reserves. And I think that she told him to cancel or whatever. And Joseph was like, well, she's on lunch, but I can tell you she did not do that, that they're doing that on their own. I wanted to know, and I think it's interesting to hear from a female's perspective, dealing with troublesome <laughs> customers, I guess. Uh, oh, God. Uh, uh, yeah. Overzealous young men. Um, so many. So many. No, <laughs> um, How many times would you say that you were actively hit on, that you recognized? Uh, there, was, uh, there was a story, you know, I think this I was at more plaza, you know, so it was nonstop busy, had a line. Uh this guy I guess decided to hang around until after and he's like, Hey No no, I was talking to Nick. Oh. <laughs> no <Nah. laughs> oh, well, incidentally. We can tell the the other ones in a minute. I mean, <laughs> came in with a gorgeous cummerbund and already I was like oh. He had a bow tie and a cummerbund and I said where are you on your way to? <laughs> he said, you're hard, young man. I, mean, I could have gotten fired for how I got his number, but... That's true. That's true. <laughs> Give me your number. <laughs> oh, you're no. fired. Um, I mean, do you want to tell that, or do you want me to just blurt it I out there that you cyber-stalked me? Like, that was yeah. after. So, at the time, like, when... So, okay, so when we met, I was just a customer yeah. <laughs> the very first time that we actually met and seen one another and yeah. I was like she's cute that's nice and then like years later uh, I started working at World Market yeah in uh, this um, World Market it was a good place yeah. it was a very good place and she would come through because she was looking for penguin mints and like I would go to GameStop <laughs> because I play video games <laughs> yeah. um, and in um, our worlds collide yeah so I found out I found out after the fact, like after we'd already started dating, that she considered me eye candy. <laughs> because uh-huh. at the time, working at, more, uh, working at uh, World Market, I was running their stock team. So like I spent a lot of time moving heavy furniture and shit like that. And then I'd all sweaty go and like, hey, I want to put like 15 bucks on that game I reserved. And Nina's <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I did, like, I was an idiot. I didn't know what that meant. Um... <laughs> It wasn't until, like, months later that we, uh, like, I went in there with a friend of mine, and we did the whole transaction with Nina and everything. We walk out, and, he, and he's like, hey, man, that chick's into you. <laughs> nah. I mean, you didn't even have to That's not a thing. give her, her your number to get into the system. It was, oh, no, that was later. Like, it was, a, like, a few weeks later, I randomly get a phone call. Uh, she's like, hey, uh, it's Nina from GameStop. I was like, 
Hi. <laughs> so we're uh, we're gonna have a, a sale for like card members here, and I just uh, you know I wanted to let you know. Is everybody getting a call? <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Yes. Everyone's getting a call. <laughs> <laughs> Is that not Eris? Uh, <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Inside joke. I forgot about Eris. <laughs> that dude was weird. I didn't like working with him. He wouldn't necessarily be bad. Wait, wait, wait. No, there was a phone call. Yeah, the, the phone call. The phone call. This is Eris from GameStop calling to let you know. Yeah, that. I didn't remember that. I wish I had like, a recording. I, I immediately <laughs> thought of Eris from that one night that I worked with him in the bluff, and he basically like shat on everybody that worked there. And I was like, you're not a good dude. Yeah. You're just not a good dude. I know this job sucks, but you're not a good dude. <laughs> now that I'm no longer friends with this person. Um, Ooh, I dish. Will, yeah. Um, so she she worked in Portland. Um, she she was known for being big and busty, and she would actually get reserved. Big and stuff. busty as in yeah, boobs. She, boobs. She was big. Uh, boobs like, sells boobs. better on that. <laughs> <laughs> and so she always There's got numbers. There's a correlation like... behind that. Between <laughs> boobs and this male-dominated <laughs> hobby. <laughs> she always got good numbers. I, I knew of her and at that time we weren't friends um and so she came in and we had gotten one of you remember the madden psp that royal blue psp yeah. beautiful gorgeous mm. but nothing made it signify that it was madden just other blue. than the it color was it was blue, blue. Yeah. and so she's like oh let me look and the system the front was perfect pristine but the back the little circle part had just a little nick on it <sighs> and she's like no i don't like i was just like Really? Like, like so no, I judged dark. her for that. Like, <laughs> and then me and her became best friends years later. And then we're no longer friends because she ghosted us. Uh, yeah. but, why, though? She's uh, psycho. That's why. Yeah. Full stop. Uh, okay. so, I believe it. Like, I'm a textbook over shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I am, but you get, if someone tells me, okay, you know, like, please stop, stop like, yeah. fine, I'll stop. One okay, of my yeah, favorite yeah. stories, like, most of mine are from when Rutherford was running the, the <laughs> store because, like, it was just, it was... Right. It was just like a circus <laughs> on a train that was yeah. off the rails. Um, so he he had this dude that he was friends with. I called him douchebowl. Yeah. So this dude Ball came sad. in yeah. again, like in the middle of December. The dude comes in to trade in a three sixty, and I'm running through all the options and whatnot. He says, "Well, it's got some water damage." And I was like, "Ah, okay. Well, I'm sorry. We can't take it if it has water damage." Just immediately, are you fucking serious? Oh my yeah. god. What the, the I know, why would you lie? You're lying. I'm very good friends with your manager. Do you know that? And I was like, what's happening right now, dude? Like, this is, like, this is a policy. I used to work here. I know we take water damage systems. I was like, well, how long ago was that? I haven't been, I haven't been employed here in three years. Well, okay, well, explain why some of the systems things have, have changed. Were bad. You know, like, we, we can't take water well, why damage Why would they systems. fucking have ever, you know? Yeah, like, yeah it full doesn't make any sense. Yeah. yeah. So he freaks out. He has a full, like, he has a full-on fit right there at the counter, screams at me, makes a scene, storms out. Uh, and I was just kind of like, that was weird. And in like the one good thing that ever happened with me and Rubio, Rubio just comes over and he's like, come here, grabs me by the shirt, <laughs> drags me to the back. He's like, if that motherfucker comes back in here with anybody, we will stand behind you. We have your back. In the he back. was in the wrong. He's an idiot. We're going to fucking kill him. And I was like, this is the most intense you've yeah. ever been, dude. You need to chill out. I'm pretty sure we're fine. Oh. Uh, one of my favorite stories, though, as far as opening went is... I was opening, it was on a Sunday, I think. So the store didn't open until like 11. And I would come in early on Sundays to knock out all the TOHs for the week, all the cat counts for the week, like get everything knocked out. So I'd come in, there was this kid just banging on the window, nonstop, oh. back and forth, back and forth. And I'm just like, I'm not going outside. And like, I would see him like looking, trying to look through the little slot in the grate of the security door and everything. Yeah. And I ended up calling security and was like, hey, look, there's this kid that's unattended outside. I don't know how he got here, but he's been here since like <laughs> 8, 7.30 or 8, banging on the door, trying to get in. And I'm like, he's unattended, you know. I So, you know, there's no adult around or anything. Yeah. Security came and picked him up. <laughs> like, yeah. 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 The, the kitty popo. Yeah. <laughs> So, like, I, I got a bunch of flack for that. I posted on Facebook what I did, and I got a bunch of flack. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Well, kids should have been outside. Like, no, you know. man. Look. Yeah. Post 9 11 America, <laughs> and people are like, you called the cops on an unattended child in a public place? He's a yeah. minor, Nina. Oh my god. <laughs> he's obviously doing what he's supposed to. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Another incident of me not scheduling people. 
while I worked in the bluff. This is yeah. supposed to be a horror story. It's not confessions. What are you doing? I mean, like, what other know. person's life I ruined? <laughs> 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 but, uh, it's well, so, bad employees are yeah. bad employees. That's yeah. true, yeah. And so, you know, go to the bluff, and so... Oh, this one's good. Yeah. <laughs> so, the, so, to just give backstory to it, um, you know, first night I worked with this girl, her name was, I want to say... Frog Girl. Well, yeah, we referred to her as Frog Girl, because she looked like a frog. That's the only name I've um, ever given to her. <laughs> she looked like a frog. Um, <laughs> but she comes in in a spaghetti strap shirt, and, you know, like, leggings or something, and I'm just like... A Mario bra. I, I thought she was a <laughs> yeah. No, uh, I mean, that, would, that would at least yeah. be on brand. Yeah. <laughs> and so she comes in. I thought she was a customer. First, I was like, oh, like, hey, um, you know, how can I help you? She's like, oh, I'm, you know, so-and-so. She's like, oh, it's like, are you gonna change? Like, cause, you know, <laughs> did you bring you your clothes with you? Yeah, yeah, like you that you can't wear that. And she's like, I always come in like this. And I was like, I'm gonna get shit like for you coming in looking like that. Yeah. So she had to drive all the way home. Guess what? She didn't live in the bluff. She lived all the way on Weber, so she had to <laughs> drive all the way home and come back. She did not like me ever since. And I ended up I ended up telling one of the guys like I'm like you need to pay like one of the key holders is like you need to pay attention whenever you know the GAs come in. She came in dressed in a space sharp shirt and he's like, well, to be honest, I don't even look at her. Like I don't pay attention to her when she comes <laughs> in. I'm just like, uh, okay, you doesn't you know you need to look at people's dress code to see what they're dressing like so like it went like three weeks without scheduling her and so it was as i was about to leave flower bluff and steven took over i was like well she's gonna have to work with him and so i was like what better time than my last day and so <laughs> i schedule her to come in she comes in red-faced pissed off like staring daggers at me and just the icing on the cake was during that time that i hadn't scheduled her her password expired so she had to call corporate and get her her oh, password changed bad. so i was like i love the story <laughs> i'm gonna name this episode uh tales of pettiness <laughs> just so yeah, yeah tell ghosts and pettiness <laughs> um <laughs> Thank you guys, Nick, Nina. Of course. Again, your yeah, audience can choose. I just, it's not up for me too soon. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's go. anytime y'all guys want to come back, um, I think that's it. You don't want to plug? Uh, do you actually want to plug the Nubbits thing? I mean, I would have to. I, I'm slacking on it. I mean, but if anybody wants to look up any food reviews on things, just look up hashtag Nubbits Review. Or I think it's my best review. I'll put a link in. I'll put a link in the description. Let's check it real quick. I got you. And because uh, I like to try out new things and snack yeah, foods and snack stuff. foods and sometimes I'll do a video of, like of me reacting, but it has to be something like really crazy, like the uh, turkey dinner. Oh, Didn't you try like pickle beer one time? Yeah, that shit's shit? delicious. No, it's review. Yeah, okay. we have over a hundred <laughs> posts. That's yeah. impressive. <laughs> <laughs> And so, yeah, I, I like to post And if they just like pictures of cats and salty memes, they can follow her at Nubbits. <laughs> 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 I'm 